Hello, math makers. Thank you for joining me as we start a brand new unit on subtracting within 1,000. So we're now going to be moving on to some bigger numbers. Uh, today is lesson one. It's part one, and we're just going to work on subtracting tens and hundreds. This is basically a mental thing I want you to be able to do um, automatically in your head. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you using place value blocks and a place value chart um, why you can do this in your head and why your answer will be correct. As we get started, there are a lot of terms we need to know for this unit. So I'm going to put all these on all of them and we're going to review them every single time just to make sure that they go here and not somewhere else. So to start with, we have an equation. An equation is any addition problem. Um, when you subtract, um, you start with usually your first number, your larger number is the menu end. Then the number we're subtracting is the subtrahend, and the answer is called the difference. And if it's a word problem, you might see some of these terms as well. Read these with me, please. Difference, less than, takeaway, minus, fewer, leftover, have left, remain, minus, or how many more. If you see any of those terms, it usually means to subtract. Now here comes a biggie page. A lot of terms here. Um, the first one I want to look at is less than. If a number is less than another number, it's smaller than it. For example, 123 is less than 321. It's smaller. The other term we have is greater than. If a number is greater than another number, it's larger than it. For example, 500 is greater than 200. 500 is bigger than, so it's greater than. Next, we have the word decrease. If numbers decrease, they get smaller. These numbers decrease. 500, 400, 300, 200, 100. They decrease as we go. They get smaller. Next is regroup. And when you regroup, you rearrange or you form into another groups. For example, for every 10 ones, there'd be a 10. And if you go backwards, for every 10, there'd be 10 ones. Same thing, for every 10 tens, there'd be 100. And for every 100, there'd be 10 tens. That's correct. You need to know that to be able to solve a lot of our subtraction questions. Next, and I go over this every time, we have our place value. When we have numbers, each number is in a place. So we have the number 523 here. There's three in the ones place, two in the tens place, a five in the hundreds place. There's those, those each of those numbers or numerals are called digits. That would be a three digit number. 75 down here, two digit number. We can write numbers three different ways. Our standard form, which is how we always write it. Word form, 523. And if we do expanded notation, 500 plus 20 plus 3, because 500s makes 500, 2 tens makes 20, 3 ones makes 3. All right, that's a lot of terms to remember. We'll go over those every time, just to help you remember. So next, this lesson focuses on subtracting one tens and one and hundreds, just that. So I'm going to use place value and a uh, place value chart both to show why this works and why you can do it in your head. So if I have 698, if I use blocks, I have 600s, 9 tens makes 90, 8 singles makes 8. And then over here, I could have 698. So 600s, 9 tens, 8 ones. And on this one, I'm going to subtract 100. So I'm taking away 100. So I can take away 100 here. I can also take away 100 here. If I take away 100 here, if I take away 1, I still have 5 left. So now I have 500. I have, still have 9 tens, which makes 90. I still have 8 ones, which makes 8. So now my new question, my new answer would be 500 plus 90 plus 8, 598. So if I take away 1 100, I'm just taking away 1 from that 100 spot. It makes 598. So again, we want you to do this in your head. If I take away 1 100 from 6, from 698, it just makes 598. Let's do a 10. 
456 minus 10. I have my place value blocks, 400. I have 5 tens, 50, 6 one, 6. Same thing, 400. 5 tens is 50, 6 ones is 6. You can see that makes sense. If I take away a 10, I'm not going to cross out 100 this time. So my 100s are safe, just my 10s. Now in the number 10, there's just one 10. So I'm just going to cross out one. Same thing here. I'm just going to cross out one, which means I still have four left. So now I have four hundreds, which is 400, four tens, which makes 40, and six ones, which still makes six. If I add those back together, 400 plus 40 plus six, I get 446, which means 556 minus 10 is 446. So I'm just changing the tens there, taking it down one. Let's do another 100. Now next two are going to be some of the ones I thought might trick up a few people, and I want you to understand how your answer would still be correct. So 162 minus 100. Again, I've built 162. I have 100. I have 60. I have 2. I have 100. I have 60. I have 2. So 100. 6 tens is 60. 2 ones is 2. I'm subtracting 100. So I'm just going to take away how many hundreds? 1. It's 1, 100. So I'm going to cross out my 100 there. I'm going to cross out my 100 in my hundreds chart. If I take away 1 there, I have 0 left. There's none there. So now if I add it back together, I'm just going to add what's there. So 162 minus 100 would leave me 6 tens, which makes 60. 2 ones, which makes 2. 60 plus 2 is 62, which means 162 minus 100 is 162. All right, the next one, we'll be doing some regrouping. 300 minus 10. So first, I'm building my 300. I'm putting my 300 up here at three 100s. So the question is, it says subtract 10. Do you see any 10s? I don't either. But let's remember what it means to regroup. When you regroup, you rearrange or form into different groups. And for every 10 tens, we have 100, which means for every 100, I have 10 tens. So I'm going to trade. I'm going to trade in my 100 to 10 tens. So I'm going to take away one of my 100s, and I'm going to move them over here to 10 tens. Because remember, 10 tens makes 100. So I still have 300. 200, 100, it's 300. Same thing here. If I take away that 100, I'm not taking it away, I'm just trading it out. I'm regrouping. I'm turning it into 10 tens. So again, I still have 300 here. But now, we can take away a 10. So let's take away a 10. So I crossed one out here, and I have 9 left. If I cross one out here, I just took away one, so I still have 9 left. So now I have 200s, 9 tens, which makes... 90, and zero ones. If I add those up together, I have 200 plus 90 plus zero, which makes 290, which means 300 minus 10 is 290. Did that help explain a little bit? Those last two questions were some of the ones I've seen be a little tricky for some of my students. I thought they might be tricky for you too, so I wanted to give it a try together. Thanks for joining me today. This is lesson number one, and I cannot wait to see you back again. Have a wonderful day.